Hello dear students, good morning. I hope you all are well and good today. So with this fresh mood, let us start with our next lesson that is reaching the age of adolescence. So basically, uh, what is mean by adolescence? So see, the age which you are in now, that age is the adolescence. So if we want to define what is adolescence, let us see the period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to the reproductive maturity that is called as the adolescence so this phase of your life which you are going through now that is the adolescence phase phase so adolescence uh, it generally begins at the age 11 and it uh, lasts up to 18 to 19 years so if you see it is 11 12 13 14 15 so mostly the teen okay like 13 14 15 till 19 and hence this phase the, are, is also called as the teenage okay and the adolescents uh, they are called as the teenagers okay so you must be familiar with this term the teenager so uh, this is the stage which is called as the adolescent stage now uh, it is uh, this is related to puberty let so let us see what is puberty so a human body of course as i said it undergoes some changes it undergoes several changes during the adolescence okay so and these changes they mark the onset of puberty so whenever the changes uh, uh, appear to start then that onset of changes that is the puberty okay and the most important change which of course marks the puberty that is that the boys and girls they uh, become capable of the reproduction okay so this is very uh, markable change which uh, uh, occurs during a uh, puberty okay or during the adolescent stage of our life puberty it ends when an adolescent reaches the reproductive maturity so as i said there will be some changes in the body the reproductive changes will also take place and once the uh, the person or that uh, uh, child reaches we would not call them as child we can say once that person reaches the boy or a girl reaches the reproductive maturity then the puberty will end so this is the concept about the puberty and the adolescence okay now if you see uh, as i said as in the definition is said there are so many changes which take place in the body of the boys and girls during puberty now what are those changes so those changes are increase in height change in the body shape voice changes increased activity of the glands in our body like the sweat glands the sebaceous glands and also there are some other glands uh, whose activity increases that we will see in detail later on then the development of sex organs reaching the mental and intellectual as well as emotional maturity so a person becomes mature mentally and by emotionally and in all the way he becomes stabilized he or she becomes stabilized in all the ways so these are the very prominent changes which take place during the puberty okay so let us see these changes one by one so increase in height if you have observed uh, uh, your height it is uh, drastically changing it is increasing drastically in this age so the most conspicuous change during puberty which can easily be seen that is the sudden increase in height your height it increases suddenly like till now the height was increasing but the, the rate of increasing the height was low uh, but now in this period the rate suddenly it increases the height increases suddenly if you have seen within one or two years if you see if you go in 10 if you will go in I mean, from 8 9 10th when you will go in this two three years your height will increase considerably and that can, can be seen so if you see very rapidly your height will increase during this period so actually what happens the long bones of course the bones the long bones which we have in our arms and in the legs 
so these long bones they, uh, they they increase in height they elongate and hence of course that will make a person tall so because our height it is measured by the bones only okay so as the bones are growing in height and hence the person's height also grows in uh, rapidly okay then if you see uh, if you see in the table uh, the age in years is given and the percentage of height in boys and girls uh, that is given so if you notice over here from 11 okay from the age 11 till 18 see the height the percent of height which may increase that is increasing the percentage is increasing it is right starting from 81% and if you see between between 15 to 18 uh, it goes like almost between 14 to 18 our height can increase more than 90 percent so that much rapid increase in height take place during the puberty okay and if we want to calculate if now suppose now you are in eight okay so what is your height now and by the age of 18 how much of your height will increase like maximum how much you can uh, go okay your height can go that you can calculate now also so there is a simple formula for that what you need to do uh, you have to write percent height okay uh, sorry you have to write the present height you measure the height of course that should be in the centimeter okay so if you measure your current height the present height and that divided by the percent of full height at this stage which is given in this table in this table if you see for boys and girls according to your age the person height is given that person you need to uh, put over there and that thing multiplied by the 100 so let us take an example if a boy who is 9 years old and his height is now 120 centimeter tall he is now 120 centimeter tall with a height of uh, with the age of 9 years so let us see how much he can grow till uh, like maximum height how much uh, his maximum height can go so how we can, can we calculate what is his present height it is 120 centimeter and divided by the percent of full height as we have seen on the table like at the age of 9 what should be the boy's uh, percent height so that is 75 percent which is given in the table and this thing multiplied by 100 so that you will get the answer of course that will be in the centimeter okay because you have taken your height in centimeter uh, that's why so the this boy can grow up to maximum 160 centimeter tall by the uh, like uh, uh, by the end of his development okay the physical development so this is how we can find the height and also if you see uh, by the age of 11 uh, a boy it reaches almost 81 percent of his height so at the age of 11 boy ki jo height hogi that will be 81 percent of how much he can grow how much tall he can grow or girls key it will be 88 percent at the age of 11 a girl's height will be 88 percentage of how much she can grow how much tall she can grow so by this you can find you of course you can try this it is not that hard so just try this activity and find out how much your height can go and tell you when you will grow okay at the age of 18 then you can tell you that you had calculated your height will go this much is it that much then you can find out so the next change during puberty is the change in the body shape okay so if you observe uh, the boys the shoulders of the boys they become broader okay uh, the shoulders of boys become broader and the chest it becomes wider and if you see the muscles okay the muscles of the body they grow very prominently okay so the muscles grow prominently so these are the uh, what we can say uh, easily remarkable changes in the body shape this is in the body shape then about girls uh, if you see the region below the breast it becomes wider and the muscles of body they do not grow that prominently as in case of the boys okay so these are the changes in the body shape in boys and girls then the next is the voice change if you have observed your voice and boys will uh, very uh, specifically find out this point that and they could observe this point they might have observed voice changes so in the boys uh, actually in girls also it changes but the uh, this difference will be very clearly seen in boys so if you see the boys they develop larger voice boxes they develop larger 
voice boxes and the boys they have deep and hoarse voice okay and the larynx which is over here the larynx it is visible very clearly if you see uh, this the larynx which grows okay the voice box okay larynx means the voice box it grows okay it protrudes out and you can see the protruding part as you can see in this figure which is given so the larynx or the voice box it grows such that we can see the protruding part and that is called as the adam's apple it is called as the adam's apple okay and if you see in the girls the larynx it is hardly visible yes it grows a little uh, but uh, not that that can be seen as in case of the boys that it doesn't come outside and girls they have high pitched voice the pitch of the voice it grows okay pitch that is the physics uh, term so that i guess you might have learned that in the previous chapter uh, previous uh, standard that in the sound lesson okay so this is about the voice change now the next is increased activity of the sweat and sebaceous gland what are those this sweat sweat glands you know sebaceous glands they are also present in the skin only as in the sweat as the sweat glands now these glands they secrete some secretions which are like they actually this both are the oil glands they secrete some oily substance and hence this both uh, uh, are the glands which secretes the oily substance it is important it keeps our body moist okay it keeps our skin moist which is very important so if you see uh, in this age uh, uh, you might develop some pimples and acne on your face during this period puberty period so why does it develop the reason is this only because uh, the gland like the sweat glands and the sebaceous glands they become very active and they secrete more amount of the secretion that is of course the secretion secretion is oily so the skin becomes oily and because of the dust and all because of the uh, atmospheric dust particles and all and the oily skin so the acne and the pimple they develop so that is a very natural thing okay that is just because of the changes which are going in our, in your body uh, these things are very obvious and they are very natural they are quite natural okay so this is because of the this sebaceous and sweat glands now to tell you one interesting thing our body ha has two types of glands that is endocrine gland which is given over here the endocrine gland and an exocrine gland now what are uh, let us start with the uh, endocrine gland so what are these endocrine glands so what they do uh, they uh, secrete their secretion they of course glands are for are meant for secretion they secrete something some substances which are of course necessary needed by our body for various uh, purposes so endocrine glands means what they have they have their own uh, what we can say they do not have their own ducts so these glands which will be smaller or bigger depends so they will secrete whatever their secretion is they will secrete it into the blood they will secrete their secretion into the blood so that so they do not have their own duct like a pipeline system okay so they do not have their own duct so they will from the gland they'll secrete the secretion directly into the blood stream and of course the blood is going everywhere it is circulating and the blood will circulate and it will send that uh, the whatever secretion wherever it is needed so these are the endocrine gland and the other type of glands are exocrine glands which do not have uh, they do have their own ducts exocrine glands have the ducts to pour their secretion so the sebaceous glands and the sweat glands which we have seen just now they have their own um, ducts so what they will do their secretion they will release into the duct uh, and hence they, uh, they'll they'll do the work in this way so like the sebaceous glands and the sweat glands they have duct and you can see the pores in our skin those are the ducts and from that the uh, this oily substance it comes out so this is how the glands work in our body okay so this is it for today let us continue with this lesson in with the next period so till that time you take care of yourself stay safe stay home goodbye